six large images that are five meters high, um, and they're from Kosovo, Bosnia, I Iraq, and Angola. They've all got their own story, really. Um, there's a picture. There's a picture of a young boy who's missing his hand. He's got his hand sort of um, crossed on his chest. Um, he found a, a custard bomb and picked it up, not knowing what it was. It was a round tennis ball sized object that he picked up and he banged it against a tree. Fortunately the tree was between him and the bomb. Um, it blew his hand off but the tree protected him from the blast and his three friends behind him. I spent a lot of time covering conflict, um, working for the press and aid agencies, and travelled to many countries and spent a lot of time in, in conflict zones. I had a lot of experiences myself with these indiscriminate weapons and I decided from, from the sort of early 90s to whenever I was on assignment somewhere to do a story on this issue. As a result I built up um, a, portfolio, quite a portfolio and had a few magazine uh, big sort of spreads features on, on this issue and I got to know actors in the field including MAG. And then a bit later on having already spent time in, in a number of countries with MAG, MAG asked me if I'd work for them full time. So taking pictures as well as um, managing um, the material to um, in the multi, different multimedia. I do film, edit film, produce films, and um, I've also designed and produced a lot of information. So it's channeling the imagery and, and straight to um, those that, um, that make the decisions on whether to fund the work that we do. So it's very satisfying that I know it makes a difference and I know it's, in, it's inspired people to support MAG.